we take a look at our roster here. Yeah, I have Gus down there concierge during our motel. Um, I have to do the little bitty one, but that's fine. We'll check in on it a little bit later. Hold on. Okay, I think we can bring a couple more people in. What is the setup here? I forget. 20, 17, 18, 22. Okay. 2017, 18, 22. So you're a go. Oh, nope. I guess we're gonna have to roll over the day first. That's fine. I don't care. We have completed the current objective, so we're gonna progress. Because I want to see where the story goes. I really want to get us up on top of the mountain, because I think we're gonna get, like, a ski resort. Wouldn't that be awesome if we were running, like, a ski lodge? Oh, man. I believe this was Barbara's house. I mean... They were talking about the ship captain, and the lady captain, and the captain kids. I think this was her home. What is going on, Barbara? Shh, gentle now. Listen. Soft bear noises. There's always wisdom in the whisper of the water. Even if this one is a particularly loud whisper. Yeah. Isn't it funny how the more you listen, the quieter it gets? Hmm. And too much quiet can be dangerous. Why do you look like that? <laughs> Why are you so happy about it? Especially for someone who has had a few bells rung in their life. Don't know what that means. It's always something making noise in my body. What? I can't hear you. These are both terrible. I, well, I, uh, I, that is true, though. Bear noises! You're always in the right spirit. I couldn't help but notice that the captain's garden is open for business again. He always grew the sweetest corn. It sure seems like your paws are soft little hunks of magic. Aw, thank you. I can't remember the last time I saw the whole valley so active. The people look happy. You're doing such a great job. Thank you. No, don't be, don't be condescending, Hank. Happy bear noises. Say, I think all this hiking has me a little famished. Seeing as you fast-tracked your gourmet inclinations, I was wondering if you'd be willing to get an old girl a little stack. I have a bunch of stuff on me right now. And a little taste of home, I guess. What does that mean? What do you want? Mushroom soup. I have that. But if you want me to just make some just for the sake of making it, I don't mind. I like cooking. Where is my mushroom soup? There we go. Okay. I'll make five of them. I legitimately forgot. I think there's a way to separate items so that I could just like pick up one at a time, but. Okay, well, there's that. I suppose I can do that. That's not what I meant, but. I'm swap those around and then we're gonna do that. And this. Okay, so... Alright, I guess the shift button works. So we're gonna put one there. So that I have it for her, but then I'm gonna put the others out here, because I believe I can. Yep, definitely. Okay. More soup! Okay, Miss Barbara, I made you some soup. I feel like I'm having trouble with Barbara's voice tonight. I, I'm i sorry. I apologize for that. I don't know why. It's Hers is fairly easy. She's just an old lady. Have you got anything for me? Yes, I do. Bear noises. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you. Oh, that smell. Like pine bark and mildew. That does not sound good, but okay. Ah, that sure hits the spot. Warms the darkest crevices of your soul, this will. I'm convinced now that if I see any hungry faces, I can send them your way. Well, that little pick-me-up gave me all the energy I need. It's time I got going again. I hope I'll see you again, you lovely creature. Aw, thank you. But yeah, I'll be around. I'm always somewhere. Where do you go, though? I mean, I thought this was your home, but... Oh, Julia. Julia, my little goat friend. I love her so much. She's so cute. What 
What's up, Julia? What's wrong? Oh, hi! Sorry, I startle easily. No, oh, I get it. I scare myself all the time. You're still here. I mean, of course you're still here. I thought you'd be busy with all the people and the houses and everything. Well, I'm not saying you're not. I'm sure those take a lot of work. And skill. And brain. And good looks. No. Yeah, those two. Ever since you came along, I've been thinking. I've been stuck in a rut around here. Doing the same thing, getting lost in my routine. I don't even mind the sound of the big black rock. First of all, I can't speak. Second of all, excuse me, what? I don't even, uh, I don't even mind the sound the big black rock makes at night anymore. Does that mean? I think I want to try something new. Oh, I could take you to meet my buds. Or, or I could introduce you to the rap mob. No, do not do that. They're mean, but they have a funny accent, so it's okay. <laughs> Hank, why? What? Leave? As in, not here? Oh, no, 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 no. I was thinking more in the realm of trying out some new recipes to cook. Yes, please. Oh, yeah, that's fun too, I guess. Yes, exactly. Why do I need to go somewhere if I can just get a little taste of it at home? I do like traveling in your mouth. Hank. <laughs> yeah. I love my garden, but it doesn't grow a lot of stuff. Do you think you could try and find me some more unfamiliar ingredients? Something that doesn't grow here. Something fresh and zesty. I'll try. The only other thing I know about is the sage, and that's down in the other area, but you used that for something once before, so... Oh, I talked to Sabine. Okay. I love talking to Sabine. I will absolutely go find her. Where's Beanie? Okay. Yes! Hey! Sabine. Also, what are we going to do with this radio station or whatever the heck is up here? <laughs> hey, if it isn't the most charming bear this side of town. That's only because I haven't been to the other side of town yet. <laughs> Hank, God love you. I was just about to pack up. What can I do for you? I know I read that wrong. Leave me alone. I'm on the lookout for some fresh food things. To find for a friend. Well, there's plenty of fruits and roots that grow around here. Oh, if you're looking for something a little more special, there used to be a greenhouse up north near the old Winter Lodge. There you go, Winter Lodge. Yes, 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 Ski Lodge. I don't know if it's up to snuff anymore, but they kept some pretty peculiar seeds. How would one waddle there? You follow the road north past the broadcast station and right up into Winterberry. I doubt the keepers would still be around. Ain't no harm in checking. I'll open up a path for you. But I'm waddling my own behind straight back to the tower after. These trees ain't gonna watch themselves. Thanks, Beatty. You're the best. Yay. Ooh, there's two. There's two. There's also, is that a beach? Are we gonna have a beachfront property? Didn't I say something about that before? Oh, I'm so excited. I love this game. I love this game and I love expanding upon it. And oh my god. Oh, oh. Yeah, I don't think I like this. Okay, hold on. Where are you? Oh, yeah, I'll pick up Crash. Oh, there's the greenhouse. Oh, dang. It's like just not even... It fell apart. That's not good for us, but okay. I guess we'll see what we can do with it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. That's moving. That's moving. That's moving. Hold on. I saw the arrow move. Hold on. It's not a place. It's a person. It's a, it's a thing. I need to go see. Hold on. What, 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 what? Here? No, but, ooh. Oh, oh, God. What in the world? It's bigger than I am. What the? You're not a bear. What are you? Jax? Aw. He's like a big, floofy dog, I guess. Yeah? I don't know. He's huge. How is he bigger than I am? He could be a bear dog. No, isn't that what... That's what they said uh, Annie is, right? A Corellian bear dog? 
This guy's some kind of like a oh like a like a Tibetan mastiff. You ever seen those? Those things are gigantic. They kind of look like lions. The mane, the the fur, the big poofy fur. Okay. Uh oh lord, what voice do I give this guy? Uh guys, I'm running out of voices. What do I got? What else haven't I done? Okay, because Hank's got the dirt do his like, oh, I'm just a big dumb bear type voice. Um Will's the cynical one. Gave Gus a terrible Brooklyn accent. The rat mob is just a really bad godfather impression. Uh, I don't, I don't know, y'all. I uh, the the shark Finn is a Finn is the game show host voice. I uh, Lord, I'm running out of options. Have we? Does anybody have the down home southern accent yet? I don't think we did it real heavy on Ollie. He might have a little bit, but I don't think we did it real, real harsh. You know? Maybe we can do that for Jax. I don't, he don't strike me quite like that, but I don't know what else to do. This is the only accent I can do convincingly anyway. God knows it's the closest to my normal one. <laughs> no, it's just, it's very put upon, but... Okay. Oh, there suddenly feels a little warmer. Oh, there he is. Yeah, look, he's a big old floofy dog. He is a Mastiff. He's like a Tibetan Mastiff. Yes. Oh, I'm so good at dogs. <laughs> I'm so good at dog breeds. <laughs> I'm going to get a good grade in dog breeds. <laughs> oh, Lord. Out in the middle of icy nowhere, deep in the heart of Winterberry, resided Jax the Mastiff. His gentle and warm approach seemed deliberate for a place this cold. If anyone knew how to kindle a fire, it was probably Jax. Oh, I like him. It's rare that I don't have to look downwards to speak to someone. I told you, he's huge. Even rarer to not have to look up to face one of your kind. That's what... that's what I mean. Did you just compliment and snub me at the same time? No such thing. Neither, or do any good to the mind. I will praise or condemn only deeds. Not things you had no hand in. It's okay. I don't like getting either. <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. Oh, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough, Hanks. I mean, I feel you. I'm right there with you, my man. Don't yell at me. I'll cry. But also, I don't know how to take compliments because I'm like the most average person in the world. Don't praise me for anything. I didn't do anything that impressive. What's a young brown bear need from a frigid place like this? My name is Hank, and... I'm putting together a group of remarkable friends to save the world! Uh, okay. Hmm, are ya? No, but now you might actually believe the second thing now. I'm rebuilding things throughout the valley, and bringing back humans because of a greedy shark. Oh. Interesting. Why? What do you mean, why? Because the inflatable fish said so. But why are you doing it? Because, well, because I like helping. So it's the kindness in your soul, then? Yeah, I think. Oh, and I'm also looking for something. Uh, something zesty. Well, Hank, that might be something I could help you with. God, if only my voice was like ten octaves deeper. Can you imagine this guy sounding like a, uh, uh, Sam Elliott? Oh, it'd be awesome. But I'd like to see that group you're putting together first. And we can discuss aromatics afterwards. I can get started on building stuff. That sounds like a plan. And Hank, make sure that kindness eventually finds its way back. What, to me? To myself? Find a way to repair one of the ski cabins. Okay. Oh my god. What is that? What is that? What are you? 
What the what? I told you there's weird stuff going on in this game. What was Julia saying about the sounds that the rocks make and, and our pheasant dude, the Ipswich? You guys remember Ipswich. The haughty pheasant. Um, yeah, he <laughs> he was talking about like some weird existential stuff at one point. What is this game, guys? It's not. This is why I keep playing, though, because not only is it super cute and I'm I'm finally getting the hang of the management aspect, but what is happening? There is weird stuff happening and I need answers. Find a way to repair one of the cabins. Is this one of them? Are they all like this? The big long. Oh, Lord. I don't know, y'all. I don't I don't. I'm I'm having a hard enough time doing layouts with things like the last house. That upstairs really kind of threw me off, but no, get off of me. I'm trying to do this. There we go. I'm trying to collect all this junk first. Construction. Yes, everything's clean. Step two, gather materials. I believe I have them. Iron plate, pinewood planks, steel screws. Yes, we have them. Okay. Yes. Alrighty. Oh. Oh, it's nice. Hold on. Go back to the... Can I... Yeah, it's nice. I like being able to see the whole floor plan, though. Okay, um... I gotta... I gotta figure out where Jax was. Okay. Hmm? Where you at, bud? I can't walk in between that, apparently. Oh, nope, I see, I see the moving arrow again. There he is. What's up, my man? Hmm, yep. Building stuff done. Impressive. Thanks. Cool, cool mountain. I got an achievement. I saw it in the bottom there. Hmm. Oh, hello. It's still me. Yeah, it certainly is. Yes, well, as you know, I'm putting together a group of remarkable people to save the world. Yes. Right. And, you know, the world is a lot colder than they thought. Especially around these parts. It can certainly bristle the coat on your back. And I was wondering if this group of, you know, extraordinary beings needed to get extraordinarily warm, even for a little bit. Oh, and their laser eyes weren't working today because the wind makes them cry. <laughs> How would they get around to keeping warm? How would... yeah! Not that they don't know, of course they do, but they also couldn't help but notice the thick fur and fireplace back there. I see. Yeah, well, I would reckon these incredible people would have to first go on a critical mission. A mission? Yes, give me a mission. I want to be a superhero. Yes! Oh my god, now I'm slipping back into Barbara. <laughs> a mission of great importance. A rescue and recovery mission. Of crucial assets. They would be willing, no, inclined to go on this mission. Haha! -ha. Yeah, of course they would. The secret riches they would be so inclined to fetch are located near the coastline. Oh, that's why we got the beachfront. In Whitestone Bay, a box of highly delicate material can be found near the end of the cliff. Message received. What's in the box? <laughs> Some rocks. 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 I see. It is of the utmost importance that this object is retrieved and delivered to me. And then we can see about warming up this crew. Okay. I will go to the beach, which is completely opposite from the very cold, snowy mountain. <gasps> honey? Can I do that without making them mad? Ooh, honey! Yes! Peaches! Oh my goodness. Okay, we are finding new new foods that we can use. I like that. Okay. Um. So Barbara's up there, but the thing... Uh, Wade! It's Wade! Whoa there! Little guy coming through. Watch your step! Oh shoot! Sorry, Wade! 
Oh, it's no bother, mister. I'm used to a little trampling. But dude, come to take me back to the boss again? What are you doing up here? What? No, I wasn't even looking for you. That's right, you're not supposed to be out of the dump. What are you doing? Oh, I see. Didn't I just bring you back? That's what I said. What are you doing here anyway? Uh, if Mr. A didn't send you, please don't tell him I'm gone, mister. I don't think he'll notice either way. No, come on, man. He seemed pretty fussed about it last time. He even came out all the way to my house just to get me to look for you. Did he really? Well, that's just because he finally figured out I was behind on my scavenge quota. You wouldn't believe how much garbage is actually just useless junk. It takes a real keen eye and a moist sniffer to fish out that really good stuff. And even then, it's barely good enough, Wade. You're lucky you got lucky, Wade. Don't put that in your mouth, Wade. <laughs> God, I love him. I get that last one a lot. I bet you do, Hank. I bet you do. I thought that if he sent F if he sent you after me... God, okay, hold on. There's a typo there. That wasn't my fault. There's a typo. You see it. You see it on the screen. I thought that if he sent you after me, he must have at least missed me, right? Maybe cared a little? But as soon as you were gone, he just put me back to digging in the muck. Because that's all I'm good for. A pair of paws. No, Hank. Come on. Or, Wade, come on. <laughs> yeah, which one are you again? <laughs> I'm not helping, am I? <laughs> I'm sure that's not true. You're also, uh, very easy to accidentally step on. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that. So anyway, I left again. I reckon maybe the garbage is greener on the other side. Like he always said, rubbish does it wait around for trash, Wade. Hmm, yes, very sensible. He's always so smart, Mr. A. Anyways, I was just about to go blind with hunger before you came along. So if I'm not keeping you... Wait, I can help with that. I just recently learned how to cook stuff all on my own. And, well, I don't want to brag, but I nail the boiling temperature for water almost every time. The trick is to not test it with your mouth. That does sound pretty delicious. And, well, if it isn't too much of a bother, there is one thing I'd really like to try. A kind of soup. I saw it in a movie once. They don't make lots of those for rats, you know. Yeah, what do you want? French onion soup. Ooh, do I know how to make that? I want French onion soup. Crap, I'm hungry. Oh, is that what we were looking for? Sauna stone. Oh, we have a sauna up on the... Oh, perfect. Okay, what is up? Jax. Oh, he sits like a dog. He just sits on the floor like a dog. What? Dude. All right, okay. E. How goes the mission? Mission accomplished. Wonderful. These will come in handy. Thank you, my friend. You are a good bear. Oh, shucks. Wait, I don't know how to feel about that one. How come? I thought compliments were good for you. Not the hollow ones, perhaps. But you weren't born a good bear. You made yourself into one. The same goes for insults. Well, neither feel like the truth to me. Maybe they didn't come from truth. Or they didn't stick the landing. Either way, it's you that has to give the green light. Let's see about warming up, shall we? That hot head of yours can only radiate so much heat. Yeah. I don't want to brag, but it is positively steaming. <laughs> yeah, well, eventually you'll have to burn a couple of logs. Take this and make a little heating room. Ooh, heating room. We can build a sauna. Ooh. I'll show you how to turn it on after. Oh, we're gonna build a sauna. Okay, tutorial heating. Areas with cold weather will need a utility room to compensate for the low temperatures. Oh, he look, he's scratching his ear like a dog. Oh my god, I love these characters. Okay, anyway, back to this heating. Uh, need room to comp uh, need a room to compensate. Utility rooms need a heater. Heaters are loud and messy, carry negative decoration. Of course they do, just like a kitchen. Uh, so utility rooms apply the negative decoration score in an area effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll just keep it away from the rooms. You can see the debuff area. Yeah, we'll just keep it away from the, from the bedrooms. 
Uh, in order to make heaters function, you'll need to add fuel to them. Okay, that's why I've been picking that up. I know I don't need it. Like, I have like, what, 400 pieces of fuel or something ridiculous like that. I don't need all that for cooking. We're not going to cook that many things all at once. But it'll be good to have it for this, I think. Still not great with this interface. My fault, though. One, two, three. One, two, three, two. And heater thingy. Hold on. Can I, uh... Hold on. I just want to make it look like... Eh, nah, I don't want to do that. There we go. Wait, can I even walk in there with it like that? Hold on, hold on. I might have to, uh... Now we're done. I just, the way it was set up, I don't think I could actually go inside, and that would have been a problem. Okay. How goes the heating adventure? Were you able to nourish the fire? Yes, it was very hungry. Good. You're almost a master of a craft now. Quite a cozy craft. Being hospitable. Well, don't be fooled. The fire runs out quickly without a keen eye to watch over it. Make sure you give it plenty of light and water it every day. Wait, no, that's that's plants. <laughs> I know you're joking, but for a second there I was about to go get a bucket. Who said I was joking? Hank, please. All right, that wraps it up for now, and I will see y'all in the next episode of Baron Breakfast. Bye.